Hi, I'm Lawrence from Petrodeck. Today we'll be installing the Bosch KDS software to our computer. We've already pre-installed the uh, main menu and I'll guide you through the installation process from here using the Petrodeck PDC 151 trolley. For a fresh install of your Bosch ECtronic and KDS software, start at the main menu and highlight software installation and on your keypad push F12 or select F12 on the main screen. Wait for the setup wizard to begin and then we'll be into our install. Assuming that English is your preferred language, select continue. If you have your iKey number from Bosch, you can go through here and enter the key and it will automatically install the software that you require. I prefer to use the user defined method, click on that and se select continue. This screen here shows the directories that the program will be installed, there's usually no need to change that. Continue. It's important here that we select data download, that loads the data from the disk to your computer. The screensaver is always quite pretty and install the KDS 505 program, leaving the second one blank and the top one is automatically completed. Continue. Here we can select the modules that we've selected from Bosch. It's important that we drag them from the left hand side of the screen over to the right hand side of the screen to, to the empty hard drive. Select vehicle equipment A, it needs that to operate the program. You also need vehicle diagnosis C1 slash 2, drag that across onto your hard drive. We recommend mechanical and technical service bulletins, drag that across. And for some customers we also recommend circuit diagrams, the P option, drag that across. If you've requested any other licenses you can also drag those across from the disk to be loaded onto the hard drive as well. Continue. This shows what, has, what is going to be installed on your computer. Continue, continue, the program is now downloading and is installing the Bosch ECtronic and KDS information to your computer. This may take uh, anything from 30 to 45 minutes. Once the software has installed, the PC will reboot and from there we'll be able to license the computer. That's the next step. Open up your diagnostic software access menu and we'll go into the ECtronic and we will license your software. F12 to continue. From the top here we've got settings. I want you to click on settings, choose release and request. Fill in your details there. In this box here in the customer number box you want to install your customer number from Bosch. Select continue. Choose the internet option. Continue. And you'll bring up the Bosch secure ECtronic web page. If you've already registered once using the information from Bosch, you can log on using your customer number and your assigned password. Select log on. From here the ID number of your computer will appear in this top box. This is the license that you've subscribed to and that's the disk that you have installed. We've installed 2009 stroke 4 Simply select Generate Release Code at the bottom of the page. A release will be emailed to you, however if you select Go Back in your browser and if you refresh that page using the F5 button, you will see for that given ID number W7BF, you will see that we have a release number. If you Highlight that, right click and copy. Returning back to the ECtronic program, you'll be able to enter it. Select settings one more time, choose release and then execute. Your customer number will be in the top box. Right click and paste your ID number in the release code box. Select OK. This box here will show you that you have succeed, successfully licensed your KTS ready for use. Using the power adapter supplied with your KTS, power up the unit and insert the USB cable. Before we can begin to use our KTS, we need to configure it for a connection with USB and Bluetooth. On your computer desktop, select Start, go to your control panel, select the diagnostic device to control, Bosch DDC. This box here shows that we've got no connections from our new install. We can choose new, configure the USB link 
and it finds the KDS570 through the USB port. Select OK, and we're now ready to use the KDS through the USB port. If you'd like to use the available Bluetooth wireless connection, we can choose New, choose Configure Bluetooth Link, and we must install the Bluetooth driver. At this stage, do not install the Bluetooth dongle to a USB port. We will be asked for that at a moment later. Select Yes, and allow the installation program to run. Install. Even if you have Bluetooth on your laptop, Bosch utilize the Toshiba Bluetooth stack and only the, Bluetooth, the Toshiba Bluetooth stack. Plug in your Bluetooth dongle now. The port that you choose now is the one that you will use each time you use your KTS and choose OK. If a Windows hardware wizard appears and attempts to install the Bluetooth driver, cancel it and ignore it. We've successfully loaded the Bluetooth driver. If required, you may have to reboot your computer. Once we've configured our USB port connection, we can do the Bluetooth. We've already loaded the Bluetooth to Shiba stack and we've got the USB dongle plugged into our port. Select New, choose Configure Bluetooth Link. Following the instructions on the screen, it reconnects to the USB cable. Choose the USB connection, select OK, and it identifies itself using the USB port. Remove the USB lead when instructed and it confirms the address of the Bluetooth connection. Congratulations, you've now got an active Bluetooth connection. You're ready to rock. Thanks for watching. I hope that's given you another insight into some of our favorite diagnostic tools. Do join us again. Keep a lookout at the Petroject website. That's at www.petroject.co.nz for other great videos coming soon. <laughs>